Blocks are looking good. Thought I'd lay some out while I'm working over here. This rain mixed with this coarse dirt is probably a nightmare for YouTube compression. <laughs> well, welcome back everyone. This is Dallas the Builder here. We are here over at our bunker. Um, as you can see, we're moving in. Got all the boxes here, right over here, in front of our revamped swamp biome, if you didn't catch last episode. I'm keeping the hutch there, it just fits. Um, but yes, I have been working down here in our, I guess you can call it nuclear bunker. So this place is mainly going to be a place where we can store mainly like copies in my world. So let's say a nuclear blast happens here in Minecraft because that's normal. You never know. And I need to go hide and preserve things <laughs> that we can then use in the new world. Is this foreshadowing anything? I hope not. But yeah, right in here we got uh, an entrance room, got some more crates. There's gonna be boxes everywhere. I mean, this place is holding lots of things. Um, but this leads down into a hallway I made. Yes, I did a lot. I know. But I didn't want to record any of this because this was just me sitting back watching some Cody Co. and podcasts and just getting stuff done. That would be a brilliant time to stream. Um, so perhaps I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. But yeah, we just go down this way. We got more boxes and crates. And it leads us into just a little room right here that I'm working on that is just going to house many different areas that we can store stuff. Um, right here, we got a some sort of gate system to hold more precious things. What's over here? A little engine room. Or not even that, it's like a little generator. But what leads through here? I like these. These are going to be item frames that can hold... Maybe this is like a tool that can hold diamond tools. This can be diamond armor or just armor in general. Um, but we are expanding this way today. I got a few ideas. This place isn't going to be huge. I want to make a refrigerated section that we can store food in. Maybe a few other sections. But I have this idea that I want to try. So I simply got to dig some more. Alright, work continues on the bunker. Oh, hey, Froggy. I love transitions between indoors and outdoors with this on. It just looks so real. But I have this on. Ooh, I love the foggy effect in the swamp. But I have this on for a very specific reason. I'm actually... Well, I have one room in here that is going to be for this. I guess. Um, but I'll show you what I've done. Well, I haven't really done much else. I've run through the whole place and just dotted in andesite and granite blocks like this because it gives the look as if this place is still upkept, uh, but it's a little bit old, you know, just gives it that rough look. Um, so I've just been throwing stuff on the shelves and trying to decide what to put in here. So for example here, I just got some diamond stuff. Because remember, this bunker is here for when everything of ours disappears, so we need everything in here to start a new life, per se. <laughs> um, so we got ingots and stuff in there, gems, and I've been expanding this way, just got some more shelves. Kind of doing this stuff too, um, put wool around special items as if it's packed safely, but I got it going over here, and we're expanding that way, and we have a room right there. And I love the look of this room with RTX because I added some red glass and holy smokes, it just looks so cool in here. It almost looks as if whatever happened outside already happened and this is my room and you can see the outdoors like that. <laughs> That'd be scary. But this is like a place where I would sit and plan whatever I'm gonna do if it came to an apocalypse in this world. <laughs> But I just love an RTX that tinted glass actually gives off that tint in the room. Nah, it doesn't look as good as I wanted it to because there's a cloud in the way and the cloud's going that way and so is the sun. So I won't really get to show you, but it looks so much better when there's God rays coming down on this. Okay, I'm still crafting and mining. Because this game is Minecraft. You craft and mine. Yeah, that was a terrible joke. Um, what did I do? I made this. We have plants now. And I have a watering system for them. I just think the end rods make it look like the water's dripping from those. Kinda like that. Made a little system right here to store some of the food, but I decided the last room I'm going to make is a semi-big room right here, and this is just going to house the majority of things. We're just going to have big boxes and crates in here. Let's get digging. I love digging so much. It's all I like doing in this game. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this. So much fun. I want to kill myself. I never, ever remember how to make stone cutters. How do you do it? Okay, solid block. 
What is- what uses stone slabs? Something out there uses stone slabs. I'm tired of not knowing. I can just find out now. Is it that? Oh yeah, that might be it. <laughs> I cleared out my little room in here. And, uh, I think I'm gonna build a giant generator in here. Um, I'm still gonna use that as storage. I'm gonna put boxes and all that. But I imagine right there against the wall, just a giant green generator. And I got all these blocks from laying them out. So I'll just do just that, and I already made some, and I realized I should probably be putting them in here. Yeah, I wasted a lot. Dang it. Oh, well. I don't know. This design I have is pretty big. It might just take up this whole room. I hope... I, pff, I don't know. Okay, this might not be a big storage room. It'll just be the engine room. But we need to have something that powers this place, right? So, we need a giant generator. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. We got our engine in here. God, it's not an engine. Well, kind of. It's our giant, as you can see, <laughs> generator that powers this whole place. Um, still using this somewhat for storage, but just got a bunch of gauges on here. I like these ones because they actually turn and whatnot. I came in here with these. This is actually the first time I'm ever using these, I think. Um, so, is it as simple as, yeah, gross sounds. I want these to stay these colors, and that's stay that color, so that's why I'm doing this. And yeah, there we go. Just a giant room with a generator. So, I do want to make a, one more room, uh, kind of like a lab room, so I brought over a bunch of powders. Scientific powders, that is. Like these. Um, these obviously aren't powders, like this and this, but they look like it, so you can make like a display. So I'd like to make a little chemistry setup somewhere to make it look like, I don't know, we're just studying chemistry stuff. <laughs> Gotta have something to do while you're locked in here for years. Which, speaking of, I should probably make like a gym or something, right? Oh gosh, yeah. My god, it's so creepy in here. I wanted to look what this looked like right here. Oh, that looks... Not too bad. I like it. What about this? Kind of dark. I feel like these lights don't give off enough light around it, so... This build was obviously not for RTX, though. Only this room right here. Okay, I actually love that we're doing this. We were actually going to make my perfect gym at the new area of the expansion of the lab, but we haven't got there yet, so... This will be a good starter for us. This one's gonna be just a low-key, like cold looking gym. This isn't going to be high tech like the one in my lab. So the hardest part is coming up with weights and this is my favorite one in the game right now which is simply chains and wither heads. And I luckily have a bunch of these. I think this is a perfect looking weight. You could even put full size blocks on the ends. I might do that for like a squatting rack. But for the first one here I'm going to do a bench press station and I need these here because these are the best looking blocks to look like the weight is racked. Actually, I think all I need is that chain right there to stop these from being moved. So if we just do a little something like this. Yeah, there we go. Plop these suckers on the end. I'm stuck. And there we go. Uh, oh, okay, good. You can place that there. I think I'm gonna use these as my bench. Luckily, I brought some wool over here. Another small trick. Get some dyes. One, two, three. Four, five, six, banner. Oh man, it takes a lot. Does this look good? Yeah, you can do something like that for a punching or kicking bag. All right, I gotta slow down. I'm getting really good at building stuff without taking you along with me, but I mean, I took my time on this. So yeah, here we go. Here's my completed gym. So we got the bench press station right here. We got a, we got a deadlift or clean area here with some big weights. You know, I'm a tough slime. I mean, I built this world. You see how big this world is? Look at these guns. We got a squat rack here with a little extra weight on it. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> and then, then over here, we just got some extra weights. And then right here, we got a treadmill. Got to keep up our cardio. We got a pull-up machine. It's not really a machine, just a bar. And then, of course, our kicking bag. I got to finish up the roof here, throw in some lights. And that'll be that. Yeah, that's right. I remembered. Slightly. I mean, I didn't remember, because I'm doing it now, but... <laughs> it just completely slipped my mind to put one of these guys in the new trash village. 
So that is exactly what I'm going to do. If I would remember, I would make it my goal to put a villager somewhere every day. Or not every day, every episode. <laughs> I need to do it because, I mean, there's a lot of you in the villager book just waiting for your character to be out here in the world. Don't worry, soon you'll be out here somewhere. This guy, I don't know who he's gonna be, but he's gonna be a trash man. Not literally. Well, literally, yeah. Yeah, uh, quick question. I've spent a lot of time right here in the past couple episodes. A lot of time, I should say. Like, a lot, a lot of time. And how on earth is that tractor right there still in perfect condition? Same as those, and not this. Look, that's almost fully oxidized. And these don't even have the first... Oh, the, okay, that does, but that doesn't. It's still perfect. I've never waxed blocks before, but look, the arm, on the other hand, or the grippers are oxidized. That's strange. Oh, are you cold and wet? You want a bed? I'm gonna sleep right in front of you. Go away, Rain. Good. There's been a bug in this game for, it feels like, a couple of years where sometimes the rain just doesn't go away. It's really annoying. How am I gonna get you in here, buddy? I guess by just going straight in. Simple as that. You got a little bit of fungus growing in here, but you'll be all right. Oh, you took the bed. Lovely. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? In we go. Don't think they can use ladders, but please do not die or glitch through a wall or anything else that will involve me quitting this game. Thank you. Huh, there you go. And I like his outfit too. Fits perfect. All right, need to give you a name. All righty there, buckaroo. Your name is gonna be George. George Husband. I used to have a George in this world. It was my old Iron Golem, remember him? One of them got mauled by Liam, my old dog. I remember that, it was a sad day. George, good luck, Godspeed. I mean, you might survive pretty well, I don't think there's, I don't think a mob can spawn in here. If so, just, um, just punch him as much as you can. <laughs> I'm checking one more time. This is driving me nuts. Did I check this one? Okay, that's Devil's Toenail. Rub some dirt on it. Pooper Scooper. Probably should have named it that. Where? No, it just, I know I've had a Grave Digger before, and if I find it, I'm gonna have to name this one Grave Digger 2. I know it's not a big deal, but it is to me, so... There you go. <laughs> I'm, okay. I th Okay, here's my assumption. I think I've had one before, but it's one of those random tools that I lost and maybe those accidents I used to have in the past, you know? I mean, I've died quite a bit and lost stuff in this world before. I've lost many tools. So I'm assuming that's where it went. It's not in the museum. It's not in my old retirement room in my office. It's nowhere to be found. God, I'm so weird. I want to try something with you guys because a lot of you were telling me about it and well I didn't realize oh my god that is so loud anyway last episode I was trying to make cattails around my swamp and I made it out of just bamboo short bamboo and I think 80% of the comments were telling me I should do it this way which is are you kidding me I don't have one brown candle ah Jesus Turn that down. Uh, I don't know if that's loud for you, but it's really loud for me. Anyway, one, two, three, four. Let's try a couple of different styles here. So a lot of you, I don't have... Uh, okay, let me craft some real quick. Lime glass. Get in my hot bar. This is what you guys were saying. Like, that's not bad. That's... Uh, what the... Oh, wrong one. That's actually not bad at all. Ooh. Yeah, now I was thinking, oh no, these grow off-centered, so that wouldn't work. Man, these grow really off-centered. Never mind. So yeah, I'm assuming I could, if I really wanted to, I could go back to the swamp and do stuff like that, but it almost, I don't know if that would be worth it, to be honest. That's a lot of candles and glass, and it, I think it just looks better with those short bamboos. No way. Can you actually do this? Can you actually strip these? You can. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's the point in that? Do I have any more? I better. I don't. Is that pile still out here? It isn't. Nice going. Block of stripped bam... 
Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I get it, okay. Because normally this would just give you bamboo planks. Ooh, so you can have another texture for this now. And it's those dots. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, there you go. Oh. oh, I'm getting so distracted now. But wait, 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 wait. I said wait. Let me get these out real quick. What if... Don't steal some from here. This place needs a touch-up anyway. Um, yeah. Ooh. These could be cattails. Oh, and it's that tan color. Okay, I might do that. Adding tan to the swamp might actually really liven it up a bit. Mad rockets. This one better count. Whoa. Is everything shiny again? Ah, oh, I hate this. Uh-oh, you see that? My world's up to 2.5 gigs now. It's not 2.4 anymore. What on earth have I been doing to make it go up 100 megabytes? I guess just building. So, I wonder if this would just look good dotted around, maybe? I don't know. It looked a little out of place, but maybe when I actually put them all together like so, it would look better. Yeah, actually... Well, maybe. You know what? I don't think that should be dotted everywhere. I should pick a location where I can just put a bunch of these like cattails normally do because they're usually grouped together a lot. Perhaps I'll do that. But all right. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here on this moonlit night and answer today's got a question from Brett Kilker. Dallas, put a haunted house in the swamp like the house from your other series a while back. So I believe the last hardcore series we tried, if you don't remember, I built a haunted house in a bamboo forest and I loved the idea. Ooh, looks kind of nice in here. Um, but I, I think that series just ended because I'm really bad at multitasking this series right here with other series and I don't know why I'm a lunatic. That's why. Um, but I built a haunted house in it and I really liked it. I could really use a fishing pole right now. I just want to fish this. But, oh gosh. Oh, whoa, that's messed up. We could totally build a haunted house out here, but you know what's weird? I oddly enough kind of like it with just this here, but if you didn't know, over there's some mountains right here. Over these mountains, we have another swamp biome. And I was thinking, instead of building my so-called idea of a family home, like the home I came from, off that mangrove swamp so many blocks away, what if I rather built it in that swamp over there? See how nice this looks with just that little hut? in the middle of this, I love it. <laughs> but what if I built my fam so-called family home in that swamp over there? Because then it would be nearby and it wouldn't be a build three or what, 8,000 blocks away? I think that would be the best idea um, because it's relatively nearby. It makes it more realistic as if we came from somewhere nearby. Uh, so I might do that. Only one last thing to do in this place, and I guess that is actually just makes a bunk room or... Well, there's not gonna be multiple people. I think this is just a bunker for me. I could probably add a, maybe a few villagers down here. Act like they keep it going until the day happens. <laughs> well, I don't want that day to happen. But yeah, I need a place to sleep down here. Um, I really love how this place turned out. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what else I could probably add. I know I still need to add that chemistry section, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sit in this chair and think a little bit about my life as a bat in here. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one where we're going to build God knows what. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.